Today, on the 50th anniversary of Earth Day, we can remember all the amazing things that have been achieved by the environmental movement. But we know that there is a great deal left undone. So let's learn from the work that we have done during the last 50 years, and let's see now how can we anticipate better the problems, the future problems that will occur so that we can address them now before they actually occur. And climate change stands out uh, because uh, climate change affects every other issue uh, that we're trying to deal with, whether that's biodiversity loss or poverty or land degradation. Fr from the best scientific advice, we know that we have to reuse massively global emissions of greenhouse gases. But we also know that in addition to that, we need to remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. And we may also need to look for other technologies to cool the planet directly by reflecting sunlight back into space. We don't know enough about the risks and the benefits and the governance challenges that come with these technologies. And this is the time uh, to start to anticipate what those risks and benefits are and how uh, we can address them uh, so that uh, solutions can be in place before uh, those technologies are actually implemented. Let us hope that in 50 years from now, our children will look back and they will say, yes, our parents have taken the right decisions to move forward.